Okay, question five. This was a nice question on discrete random variables. Let's look for all the clues that are in the question. All right, so I'm told it's a discrete random variable. I'm given the values that that random variable can take. And right here, I have the probability function that I should be making use of. Also, this is a show that question. Show that questions give you the opportunity to know you've achieved all of your marks by the time you've finished writing that question in your exam paper. Okay, so what was I meant to do? Okay, so discrete random variables should make you think of a table straight away. And in that table, we're going to have usually x values, but this question's calling them r, so I will as well. And the probability that your random variable equals that particular outcome. Values can be 0, 1, 2, and 3. This was given to us in the question. But how do we work out those probabilities? That was also given to us in the question. That is what this formula is for. This statement right here is going to let us know how to find those probabilities. When r equals 0, the probability statement is going to equal k multiplied by 0 factorial, which I know to be just k, since 0 factorial is 1. You can use your calculator to check that. When r equals 1, the probability that x equals r is going to be k multiplied by 1 factorial, which again is going to be k. When r equals 2, the probability that x equals r is going to equal k times 2 factorial. So that's going to be k times 2 times 1, better known as 2k. And when r equals 3, the last outcome, probability that x equals r is going to be equal k times 3 factorial is k times 3 times 2 times 1. Multiplying those through, that's going to get you 6k. Let's put those in. Let's put those into the table, the discrete random variable, and we'll get k for 0, k for 1, 2k when r equals 2, and 6k when r equals 3. OK, but then how do I verify that k equals 0 0.1? Well, all of these probabilities we're going to expect to add up to 1, since all probabilities within a discrete random variable should add up to 1. So I'm going to go ahead and state that the sum of all those probabilities should equal to 1. So in this case, k plus k plus 2k plus our 6k should equal 1. Altogether, we've obviously got 10k equals 1, which leads to k must equal 1 over 10 otherwise known as 0 0.1. And there we've shown what we were asked to. OK, so next we were asked to find the probability that x equals 3. Let's not forget that now that I know the value of k, I actually know what each of these probabilities are going to be. So yes, k equals 0 0.1. So this is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.6. So the probability that x equals 3, just by inspection right here, we can see that it's going to equal 0 0.6. Probability x equals 3 equals 0 0.6.